Hi everyone, what if I told you that there is a third party app that can transform your smartphone into an external monitor for Sony camera? Today I will present you the Monitor Plus app. It will allow you to use your smartphone as a professional grain camera monitor with your Sony mirrorless camera. So if you need things like full camera control and video, fast color, focus picking, anamorphic stretch, zebra and ability to use LUT live, then this is probably an app you're going to want to check out. Sony have an app called Imaging Edge but it is buggy and it disconnects all the time. But this app on the other hand allows you to have full control in both photo and video and offer a lot more features than Imaging Edge. This app has a free version and it has a paid version. I upgraded to the paid version for a low price because it's unlocked all the features. The first thing I want to talk about is how to connect the monitor app to your camera. I will walk you through this step on my Sony A7S III, but it should be similar for the other Sony camera. Just one thing, not all features work on every camera. You will find the link of the documentation in the description. Hey, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment my video. It will be very appreciated. Thank you. For the demonstration, I will run the application on my iPad because I need my iPhone for the recording. So let's dive in and see how it works and the feature. After downloading the app, you're gonna see that it's possible to do wireless or wired connection. The first one, the Wi-Fi connection, which sometimes works really well and sometimes works horribly depending on your Wi-Fi environment. Now let's see the setting on your camera. If you want to use Wi-Fi mode, first you need to disable PC remote. Go into network setting on your Sony camera, transfer remote, PC remote, excuse me, PC remote function, and PC remote set it to off. Next, enable control with smartphone. Control with smartphone, set it to on. Next, go to connection, you'll see a QR code. Start the monitor plus app on your phone. On the top, enable automatically connect. On the left, you have connect via QR code. Click on it. Scan the code on your camera and join. Now you should be connected. Now we will connect the second way via USB, which is less laggy and more stable. Now let's see the setting on your camera. First, you have to disable control with smartphone, control with smartphone and set it to off. Next, you need to enable PC remote. Go into network setting on your Sony camera, transfer remote PC, PC remote function, PC remote and set it to one and be sure to turn off USB power supply, otherwise the smartphone will be feeding the battery on the camera and it will empty very fast. Go to setup, USB, USB power supply and set it to off. Ok, we are ready to connect with the USB-C to USB-C cable. If you don't have USB-C connector, you can check in the documentation of the app on their website. Just start the Monitor Plus app and it should connect automatically. Now we are in the app. If you swipe up, you will have full screen. And swipe down for a setting. Okay, you have the shot here. Up here, you're gonna see all the setting on the camera. Now we have the frame per second here. You have the, you have the option for the file format, the frame rate, and the recording setting. The next one is going to be the shutter. You can change shutter speed. You have the option direct to go directly to 140, 50, 100. Or you, we have a slider that we can change it. Out. The iris is the aperture. This is one is a f2 lens. So you can go directly to f8. It's going to be darker, darker. Uh, the ISO. You have the option for auto. What I like about it is that you have the two natives of the A7S III, the lower one and the higher one. You should try to always record in the native uh, ISO. It's going to have less noise and uh, it's going to be better. So that you have the white balance, you have all the settings. Uh, I work with uh, Kelvin, so you can change it if you want. Daylight, shade, country, tungsten, white. I will go back Kelvin. Okay, so that you have the focus. You can go with 
can go with AFC or the manual mode. Uh, just one thing, if you do something that the camera is not compatible, like if you try to go to 120 and you don't have the right codec, you're gonna have a message on the small screen of the camera. So you're gonna have to click on OK there to be able to continue to use the application. What I recommend to you is to use uh, something like flexible spot or expand spot. Like this, you're gonna see where is the focus. Because if you use uh, like wide, you won't be able to see it. You're gonna do the focus, but you won't be able to, to see where is the focus. Now yeah, you have the histogram just here. Uh, this one is for the recording. We we'll start recording again. Now we will look at all the functions in the application. From the top to the bottom, you have the zebra. You have the setting for the zebra. I set it at 90. This will help to protect my highlight. Next, we have the fast color. Next, we have the guide. It's for the rule of third. The focus speaking, everything goes black and white apart what is in focus, which is become red by default. Next, we have the waveform for optimizing the exposure. Lot, you can import and add a lot here. Next, the inspector. It's a bunch of color grading tools. The anamorphic the squeeze. If you have an anamorphic lens, you can preview live. Focus polar. If you have a manual focus, you can turn on focus polar here. For the chroma key and overlay, I haven't played around with those. Next, we have the locker to lock the application. You can flip the screen horizontally or vertically. Now we will take a look at some of the tools we have at the bottom of the screen. The first one, Zebra, which is like a warning sign of blowout I liked area, where the tail is lost due to overexposure. The next one, the fast color, it overlays the image with a range of colors, each representing a specific brightness level. The guide function is primarily for aiding in composition and framing like the rule of thirds and the safe area. The next one, the focus picking, is a crucial tool for achieving precise manual focus, especially in situations where autofocusing may be unreliable. Next, the waveform function. It plays a critical role in analyzing the brightness distribution within your video image, offering valuable insights for exposure control and image quality. As you have seen, the monitor plus application offer a range of advantage for videographer with Sony camera, transforming your smartphone or tablet into a powerful and portable video monitoring tool. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.